United States of America generates over half its electricity through burning coal. Kennecott Energy is one of the country's leading suppliers. The company operates a series of mines across the western states of Montana, Wyoming and Colorado. Kennecott produces a relatively clean, low sulfur coal. The whole operation is carefully monitored throughout. The company's environmental policies are equally strict, with a focus on maintaining the existing biodiversity and wildlife. In Wyoming, Kennecott's coal is stored in covered silos to help suppress the dust. As these can only hold up to one day's work, the mines have adopted a just-in-time production plan. If I could describe somewhat about our operations here and how continuous they are, um, we operate 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. We can't store coal here. At most of our sites, we can only store in the silos that we have a half a day's or two-thirds of a day's production. It's very important for us to constantly be producing and loading trains day in, day out. Generating power from fossil fuels is believed to contribute to climate change. And yet America contains about twice as much energy locked in coal as Saudi Arabia does in oil. Enough to last over 200 years. With no alternative energy sources yet available on a sufficient scale, coal remains an important part of the energy mix. The solution is to make it environmentally friendlier to use. Conventional coal-fired power stations burn coal to heat water to operate a traditional steam turbine. The challenge is to reduce the carbon dioxide emissions this process creates. If you look over the last 20 years in the United States, uh, production of electricity from coal has increased nearly doubled, not quite, but nearly doubled, yet emissions have decreased by either 40 to 70 percent, depending on the type of uh, particulate that you're talking about. So the use of our product continually gets cleaner uh, and the environment is getting better. To extend the progress made so far, Rio Tinto has joined a major government scheme to pilot a range of clean coal technologies. The project, known as FutureGen, is budgeted at a billion dollars. The U.S. government is planning to put up 80% of that amount, $800 million, and the U.S. government is looking for the remainder of the funding, the $200 million, to come from private industry. Rio Tinto is one of 10 industry partners that has signed up to the FutureGen project. And so, in effect, Rio Tinto has offered up $20 million of its own money to this project to demonstrate that zero emission technology for coal is viable and possible. Part of the FutureGen project is to study a process known as coal gasification. In this process, coal is partially oxidized under pressure at high temperature to produce a gas which can be burnt in a modern efficient power plant to produce electricity. Or the gas can be reacted with steam to produce separate streams of carbon dioxide and hydrogen. Gasification takes coal and produces a synthetic natural gas out of it uh, right up front. And in doing so, it makes it much easier in that process to capture emissions from the combustion of coal rather than trying to do it at the end. FutureGen will also investigate a technique known as carbon capture. This is where carbon dioxide is captured at source and then piped directly underground, preventing its release into the atmosphere. The structures used need to be geologically stable and deep enough to retain the carbon dioxide at the same pressure as the surrounding rock. We need to make sure that we have a program that is very transparent. We need a, a number of large-scale uh, demonstrations around the globe where this is done and over, over a longer period of time where it's monitored, it's transparent. We have governments, NGOs, everybody involved so that we can actually um, demonstrate that this is done and answer the questions that need 
to be addressed to make sure that this can be done safely. Use of these new technologies could reduce America's greenhouse emissions by around a third. With two billion people across the world still in need of affordable energy, FutureGen could have enormous implications on a global scale. Rio Tinto has earned a place at the table, at the debate that governments are having on how we should address climate change. And so being able to be a part of that debate is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. The company's participation in FutureGen is evidence of Rio Tinto's continuing commitment to sustainability in all its mining operations, including the long-term future of Kennecott Coal.